a step-by-step -step guide to the Touch2 programmable room thermostat. How to turn the Touch2 on and off. To turn the Touch2 on, press the tick key once. To turn the Touch2 off completely, scroll to the power icon and hold the tick key for approximately 4 seconds. The setup, power and clock icons will appear on screen. The setup and clock icons will then disappear, leaving only the power icon showing. Once this happens, wait for a further 10 seconds for the Touch2 screen to go blank. The display and heating output will then be turned off. How to set the program. The Touch2 is automatically programmed to weekday weekend programming, which allows four on-off times for the weekday and four on-off times for the weekend. In most cases, you will not need to adjust this default setup. However, the Touch2 does offer other programming modes, including seven-day programming, 24-hour programming, and operating without any programming. To change the default mode to an alternative option, follow these steps. Use the left right key to scroll to the power on off. Press and hold the tick button for 3 seconds. Setup will be highlighted. Now press the tick key once. Use the up down keys to scroll through features until you reach feature 12. Use the left right keys to adjust to the desired feature setting. Press tick to confirm and exit the setup menu. How to set the mode. The Touch 2 can be used in mode 1 as a programmable thermostat or mode 2 as a time clock. Mode 1 as a programmable thermostat is the default setting. Please note that switching between modes 1 and mode 2 will factory reset the Touch2. To change between the programmable thermostat or the time clock modes, follow these steps. Use the left right keys to scroll to the power icon. Press and hold the tick button for 3 seconds. Setup will be highlighted. Now press and hold the tick key for 10 seconds. Use the left right keys to scroll between the modes. Mode 1, the programmable thermostat. Mode 2, the time clock. Press tick to confirm your selection. The Touch 2 will then revert to the main display for the selected mode. The programmable thermostat mode. To program the Touch 2 in Mode 1 as a programmable thermostat, you will need to follow a few simple setup steps. How to set the clock. To set the clock in programmable thermostat mode, follow these steps. Use the left right keys to scroll to power on off. Press and hold the tick to turn off the display. Use the right arrow key to select clock. Press tick to confirm selection. Use up down keys to set the year. Press tick to confirm selection. Repeat the steps to set the month, date, day and time. Please note when setting the date and day, these will be set simultaneously. Press tick to confirm the new clock settings. Use the down arrow to scroll to the on off button. Press tick to turn the display on. How to program the thermostat. To program the Touch2 thermostat, use the left right keys to scroll to edit. Press tick to confirm selection. Use the left right keys to select day period of the week. The selection will flash. Press tick to confirm your selection. Morning will now flash and the current time and temperature setting will be shown. Press tick to alter the morning times. Use the up down keys to set the hours. Press tick to confirm. Use the up down keys to set the minutes. Press tick to confirm. Use the up down keys to set the temperature. 
press tick to confirm the settings. Press the right arrow key, day will now flash and the current settings will be displayed. Press tick to alter day settings. Repeat these steps to set all temperatures. Temperature override. The up down keys allow the adjustment of the set temperature. When either key is pressed, the word set and the desired temperature will appear. Use the up down keys to adjust the set value. This temperature is maintained only until the next program setting. Temperature hold. The temperature hold function allows manual override of the current operating program and gives the option to set a different temperature for a desired period. Use the left right keys to scroll to hold. Press tick to confirm selection. Use the up down keys to set the desired hold period. Press tick to confirm selection. Use the up down keys to set the desired hold temperature. Press tick to confirm selection. The hold left indication is displayed on screen. The time will count down the set time duration and then revert to the normal program. The hold function can be cancelled by selecting hold on the menu, pressing tick to confirm the selection, then pressing tick a second time to cancel. Setting frost protection. Frost protection mode is set by default at 12 degrees. To change this, follow these steps. Use the left right key to scroll to the power on off. Press and hold the tick button for three seconds. Setup will be highlighted. Now press the tick key once. Use the up down keys to scroll through features until you reach feature three. Use the left right keys to adjust to the desired setting. Press tick to confirm and exit the setup menu. How to turn on frost protection. To turn on frost protection, follow these steps. Use the left right keys to scroll to the power icon. The frost icon will toggle on off each time tick is pressed. In the frost protection mode, the touch two will display the frost icon and will only turn the heating on should the room temperature drop below the set frost temperature. If the heating is turned on whilst in frost protection mode, the flame symbol will be displayed. To cancel frost protection, navigate to the power button and press tick. Setting holiday mode. The holiday function reduces the set temperature to the frost protection temperature setting. The thermostat will maintain this temperature for the duration of the holiday and will then automatically return to the program mode on your return. To set a date and time for the holiday period to end, take the following steps. Use the left right keys to scroll to holiday and press tick. Use the up down keys to set the year, press tick. Use the up down keys to set the month, press tick. Repeat these steps to set the date and time, press tick to confirm selection. The holiday period will start immediately with a touch two displaying an aeroplane and end date on screen. Touch two will return to its normal programmed mode at the time and date set. To cancel holiday mode, use the left right keys to scroll to holiday and press tick. Cancel will be highlighted, press tick to cancel. Mode two, the touch two as a time clock. To set the touch two in mode two as a time clock, follow these simple steps. How to set on off times. To program the on off times, follow these steps. Use the left right keys to scroll to edit and press tick. Use the left right keys to select day period of the week, press tick to confirm selection. One will now flash and the current on time will be displayed the off time can be viewed by pressing the down key. Select a switching time and press the tick key. Use the up down keys to select the on time hours and press tick. 
Use the up down keys to select the on time minutes. Press tick to confirm selection. Use the up down keys to select the off time hours and press tick. Use the up down keys to select the off time minutes. Press tick to confirm. Press the right arrow key. Two will now flash and the current on time will be displayed. Repeat these steps to set all time periods. For any unused periods, enter four dashes. When complete, use the left right keys to scroll to done and press tick to confirm all changes. How to set the timer override. To override the timed output, follow these steps. Use the up down arrows to set the override duration, for example, two hours. Press tick to confirm the override setting and return to main display. Hold the left key and the remaining time will be displayed. To cancel the override setting, hold the down key to reduce the override time to zero. This will cancel the timer override. How to lock the Touch 2. The Touch 2 has a keypad lock facility. To activate the lock, follow these steps. Use the left right keys to scroll to hold and press tick for 10 seconds. The display will show four zeros and you will need to enter a four digit pin number. Use the up down keys to enter the first two digits. Press tick to confirm. Use the up down keys to enter the second two digits. Press tick to confirm. The display will return to the main screen and display the keypad lock indicator. The keypad lock indicator is only displayed when the lock is activated. To unlock the Touch 2, press tick once. The display will show four zeros and the four digit pin will need to be entered. Use the up down and tick key to enter the first two digits. Use the up down and tick key to enter the second two digits. The display will unlock and return to main screen. How to factory reset the Touch 2. To reset the device to factory default settings, follow these steps. Use the left right keys to scroll to the power icon. Press and hold tick to turn the display off. Setup will be highlighted. Press and hold the tick key for 10 seconds. All of the icons on the display will appear for two seconds then the number 1 or number 2 will begin flashing. Use the left right keys to scroll between modes. The relevant section will flash. Press tick to confirm your selection. The Touch 2 will revert to the main display screen for the selected mode. Factory Reset will cancel all of the parameters that were previously selected during the setup. These settings will need to be re-entered after a factory reset. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video useful.